Hello and welcome. Today is Sunday, the 12th day of March 2017. My name is Derek and welcome. Let's take a look at a Bitcoin chart and this is an unupdated Bitcoin closing chart for Saturday. But not much has transpired as the volatility has been around 3% low. So not any need to update it. And, and yesterday I also did this chart and I even explained beforehand as this thing was in here to expect this to be the range of resistance and support. Well, I was half right. I was right about resistance, but it never even came down towards that level. So now let's put an updated chart on the 15 minute time frame. Just looking at this with some market depth. Fibonacci retracement from the high in at 11.98 and the low at 11.60. So the overall range on this is a little under 4%. And considering how things have been maneuvering, that's quite strong. Also, let's point out as well that when this occurred, there were people down in here who had buy orders and they would have been executed, which meant they would have got a very good price. They would have been very happy, but it also would have meant that some of them would be selling off, which was another big reason just on the technical level, why oftentimes the 1100 support mark could come into play, but no 1160 did. So it already had its wave of sellers within the Fibonacci retracement from the key high and low. We can see in here that it started this low. Uh, I guess it started here, but for the most part, it resisted this point, came back, found successful support within the band as well. And just recently, a move barely piercing the high by about three or two and a half basis points, but enough to get to that level, another matching point. And as I've been stating before, whenever you have a situation where you take a long time to get to the previous point, and this was over a hundred periods, then you're usually going to find resistance. But what's ideal is to come back to well, an area like it has, and, and looks like to me that it's going to be able to make a move and go higher. The most probable situation when I see a chart like this is for the market to continue to go higher, maybe just settle for a while here, but maybe at a fast break even, or a eventual good move up to the breakout point at 12.22. Then ideally, either settle and go sideways for a while or just keep bursting higher because it's not resistance, but probably a move back to the key 1200 point, which is now a three times hit area. The market depth on the bottom of the screen comes from the Poloniex website. And this is the traders on the site that are looking to buy and sell and have orders in. And the green represents buy orders, which are ramped up large. And the red represents sell orders, which are not as ramped large because people are more aggressive within market sentiment sentiment, market consensus, market opinion, market behavior to rather be in at large groves than be out. And this usually will spell a bull market to follow. The only thing when I see a chart like this that I would be concerned about is a very large amount of people with shares that can say I can buy this up and get a very good sell price, but I don't like the outlook for this to happen. I think this bull market will continue on through in this month, making higher highs and higher lows. And then eventually on the midterm over this week, work towards testing the 1275 to 1350 uh, area. So thank you for tuning in and have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.